Nate, are you surprised by the offensive output tonight, or did you kind of see this coming? You know, no. Uh, and to answer your question, a couple of days ago, we do have a goal as far as points that we want to score. Uh, but, you know, I, I like, uh, I felt like if we can get stops, we can show our speed. And, um, you know, we have speed that can get the ball down the floor and create uh, open opportunities by, you know, Victor pushing. I thought our guards, both guards tonight, uh, Corey, Darren, both did a good job of uh, uh, running the team tonight, moving the ball. Uh, and we got a lot of attempts uh, tonight at the basket. You know, when you, you're putting up 102 attempts, that's, you know, in a regulation game, uh, you're going to be able to score some points. What is your goal for points in the game? We, 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 you know, last year the top ten, the top five teams was 110 and above. And our goal has been my goal for my team uh, last year and this year is to score 110. I think if you score 110 uh, points, you know, our goal defensively, uh, the top five teams last year held teams under 45% field goal percentage. Uh, the number one team, Golden State, was uh, 43, I believe. Uh, our goal is to be 42. So uh, to try to hold teams under 42% field goal uh, percentage. And, again, I thought uh, conditioning tonight uh, showed that uh, we got to continue to work if we uh, want to establish that tempo that we played at tonight. We got a little tired. Do you have a goal for shots to get up for field goal attempts per game? Do you have a I, I, I would like to be 90-plus on the higher side of 90 what about the defense tonight? Gave up a lot of dribble penetration, a lot of layups. Yeah, you know, I thought in the what, second, third quarter, uh, we had was 17 free throws. It was just, again, it was conditioning, uh, you know, to play this game uh, the way we want to play, get up and challenge every catch, uh, you know, f make them feel us on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, you know, our weak side need, needed to be tighter and uh, rebound the ball. Uh, it, it takes you to be in great shape to be able to play that style of basketball and then get out and push the ball. And I thought we got a little tired. Uh, uh, in that first half, we got a little tired uh, to going towards uh, late in the second quarter. Uh, and then I thought both teams in the second half showed a little fatigue. But our guys fought through it. We were up 10 or more a couple of times, and they were able to uh, fight their way back. We settled down and was able to stretch that league, league again. Excuse me if you already mentioned this, Nate, but uh, Darren Collison, I thought, played really well. And can you just talk about, you know, his floor game and also that backward combination with he and Victor, since you're playing this style, their ability to play effectively in that style? Well, you know, I, I just like what Darren is doing. Um, you know, he showed it in the first game, first preseason game against Milwaukee, uh, you know, calling plays and getting guys involved and, you know, recognizing when a guy needs a touch or a shot or, or he's not involved. He's calling those plays, and uh, he did a, a, you know, a, a great job again tonight. That's something that we work on uh, where, you know, the, the guards have to call a play to get every guy on the team a look, and I thought he did a good job of just, uh, you know, running the team tonight, uh, getting us into our sets, executing the offense, uh, you know, taking the shot uh, that was there. Uh, Corey came in and, and backed him up and did a solid job. And uh, down the stretch, uh, with Victor being in foul trouble, we, we felt real comfortable with the two of those guys in the game. Nate, do you feel Vic and uh, – over here, sorry. Yeah. Vic and Sabonis, were they anxious for tonight? And, and how do you grade their first night as Pacers? I thought all of our guys was anxious. You know, we, we had that week uh, before – uh, tonight's game, and uh, you know they were tired of, of, of playing against each other. So all those guys were were anxious tonight. I thought Lance was the guy that was really hyped, and uh, he even said it two or three times. You know that uh, he was too hyped. He's talking to himself by the I'm too hyped, too hyped. You know, but uh, but I thought they all were, and I wanted them to be. You know, I, you know I'll take that. As I, I've said in the past, I would much rather say whoa. Then Getty up, and uh, you know I thought we came out with great intensity on both ends of the floor. We established our pace that we want to play it. Nate, how much did you like the balance tonight? Over, over, over here, eight guys in double figures. How much did you like that balance? I love, I love that. You know, you know, one of our another goal of ours is to 
uh, you know, uh, pass, you know, 20 to 25 assists a game. So we want that ball movement. Uh, we've been doing a good job of that. You know, our bigs, uh, Miles and Sabonis, have done a, a great job of reversing the ball and getting into that pick and roll action, which, you know, they have to sometimes make the extra pass. And uh, uh, so if you play that way with the ball movement, everybody will get involved, everybody will get opportunities. Nate, uh, you just spoke about assists. You had 29 assists tonight well over what you've been able to do in the past. What was it about uh, your play tonight that allowed you to be able to move the ball so well? Well, guys have uh, been willing passers, and uh, you know that's what the offense creates uh, with the ball movement and man movement. I thought it was a good balance. Everybody was involved. Uh, guys were sharing the ball, and, you know, that's a fun way to play. And, you know, as I uh, said to you, you know, one of our goals uh, each night on the uh, offensive end of the floor is to uh, come up with 20 to 25 assists a game. There's no way you could have expected guys to play as smoothly as they did tonight, first game out. Or did you see that in, in, in training camp? I thought I thought we had a good training camp. And as I mentioned, we, we got a lot in uh, both offensively and defensively with this group. I think it's a pretty high basketball IQ team uh, that they pick up things fairly quick quickly. And um, they play together. You know, they, they've been doing that from day one uh, in training camp. And tonight, uh, you know, was a, was a good sign. It was a good start for us game one. Thanks, Coach. Okay.